Hi, my name is Peter Now. I'm a surgeon here at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. GERD is a passage of acid from the stomach back up into the esophagus. It's a prevalent disease with upwards of 20% of the United States experiencing symptoms weekly. Now, it's typically related to a breakdown of one of the anatomical barriers of reflux, or the lower esophageal sphincter. The lower esophageal sphincter is made to be weak enough to allow fluid and food to pass down through it and into the esophagus, but strong enough to stop fluid from passing up into the esophagus from the stomach. Now what happens with this is when people have an incompetent lower esophageal sphincter, they experience symptoms of this acidic fluid up in their esophagus. Now this can present as regurgitation and heartburn, however it can also be seen as a cough, sore throat, bad taste in the back of their mouth, or even difficulty swallowing. So there's two main ways that we treat this in the United States. There's medical treatment and surgical. Now medical treatment doesn't change the fact that you're refluxing fluid back up into your esophagus, it just changes the pH. Most commonly in the United States today, that's a proton pump inhibitor. Proton pump inhibitors turn off that acid pump so that when you bring fluid back up into your esophagus, it doesn't burn as much. Now for some patients, this doesn't adequately treat their symptoms. They can either continue to have regurgitation or their acid levels just aren't suppressed enough to treat that. In those cases, we can consider surgery. Now the most common surgery that's done today is the Nissen fund application. Now this is a laparoscopic surgery where we take the top part of the stomach and we wrap it around the esophagus to recreate that lower esophageal sphincter. This is very effective at increasing the patient's health-related quality of life and decreasing their dependence on proton pump inhibitors. For some patients, there's another option, and this option is the Lynx. This is a new product that's been produced and done approximately 4,500 times in the world. Now what that is, is it's a ring of beads that we wrap around that lower esophageal sphincter, again, to recreate that, that valve. This, again, is very effective at getting patients off of their medications and improving their health-related quality of life. It also has some of the benefits of decreasing the side effects we can see with Nissen, which can include a bloating sensation and an inability to belch and vomit. Now for the majority of patients, medical treatment is going to be adequate. Their symptoms are going to be controlled and they're going to be able to go on with their daily life with good resolution of their GERD symptom. However, there are going to be those instances where patients have persistent regurgitation or their acid levels just aren't suppressed adequately to go on with medical care. In those cases, surgery is a great option. University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives.